Hi besties, how are you? If you are here for the first time, my name is Kathy and this is my DIY channel. In today's video, I want to show you how to create a reef out of a pool noodle. What do you think? I think it's going to be so much fun. In addition, it's not a regular noodle reef, it's a ladybug reef. Who doesn't like ladybugs, right? And who wouldn't feel welcome seeing a ladybug reef on the door? Come on, let's get started. I am very excited to let you know that all the supplies today come from a dollar store. So you are going to need one pool noodle, one pinwheel, and at least uh, one ladybug. I got these garden stakes at the dollar zone because I didn't see any at the dollar tree. And then you're going to need flowers. All these beautiful flowers come from Dollar Tree and I love their fall collection. Look at these reds with some black on the middle. They are perfect for a ladybug reef. Look at that. How gorgeous are these? Guys, you have to stack up on these because these flowers won't last long. They're very nice quality and we're gonna be making a lot of fun reefs for the fall as well. So make sure when you see this in your store, you buy them, okay? And then uh, daisies, daisies, uh, any white flowers actually, but daisies are very cute. Fern as usual, and these little white balls I got from Christmas time. And then ribbons, these come from Dollar Tree, some red, whites, blacks, anything will match ladybug. No, I think she's breaking it. Oh no! Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh, Coco. Yes, just the usual day in my household. So, okay, we put that at three inches and we cut in an angle. And same thing on the other end. Not just because Coco bit that ending. I believe if you cut the noodle at an angle, it sticks better and it forms a perfect round shape. And best is to use a second set of hands to help you hold it while you go around with a strong tape. Ta-da! Just like that you have a beautiful reef form and it's just one dollar or even less after the summer sale, right? There you go, another thing to write down for a shopping list. Stack up on the pool noodles after the summer. And as you can see, next step is cutting apart all the greenery and flowers. And I have another tip for you guys. Whenever you buy your flowers, please count the stems. Make sure you have all the flowers. Look how I cheated myself out of the daisies. There should be two more. All right, so the flowers are cut and now we need to cut down the stake of the pinwheel so we can put it right in the center of the reef, more or less. <laughs> and that's what's great about the noodle, that you can just stab things in. And uh, yeah, you can adjust it more or less. And I think it's gonna be cute like that. And now we're just gonna add a little bit of hot glue to attach it securely to the reef. Next step is the greenery. And if you've seen me do the reefs before, you know that I like to put a green backdrop for all my flowers. And I'm using here Dollar Tree Fern. This fern, the new one, is a little bit different than what we used to, but it's still a great deal for $1. And um, as you can see, I'm just attaching it with some hot glue. And there is a tape at that point over there. That's why I cannot stab it through. Uh, but all the other flowers from now on, I'll be able to put through the reef too. Uh, just in the beginning, since I'm doing one set of greenery going up and then another set going down. Mm -hmm. 
right there. I leave a little bit space, pretty much the width of the tape. I leave that off because there's gonna be a bow there. And then I start inserting the uh, fern going down, as you can see. And I just remembered that I have this grass from Dollar Tree. I decide to add a little bit of that to create some more interest. And I add the grass the same way as the fern, same direction. Some going upward and on the opposite end going downward. This noodle is actually bigger than the usual Dollar Tree uh, reef form. Uh, so I am starting to add a second uh, bunch of the fern, guys. I recommend getting two. And you see this fern is older. You see it's a different color. I love mixing dark and light greenery. It just adds to the beauty of the reef later. All right, this is good for now. I will be adding more later. And now I'm deciding what ribbons to put on there. I'm thinking the red and whites and a little bit of plain burlap. Um, this is always a tough choice, guys, a matter of preference. And I'm using only Dollar Tree ribbons, so it's not that much choice. <laughs> And I should be cutting this out, but I know there's so many of you that love Coco, so I'm just gonna show you what she's doing. I have such a big ribbon mess because she pulled the whole bunch under the table for me. And uh, yeah, she just keeps jumping up and down. <laughs> I put her down, she jumps back up. And that's that's Coco, that's, uh, that's what I mean, guys, when I tell you she's so mischievous. Oh gosh. All right, let me tell you what I did. I cut uh, six pieces of ribbon, two of each color. Uh, most of them are 24 inches long, except the red dots, the red uh, polka dots I did longer. And now what I'm doing is just pinching, uh, measuring six inch loop and pinching. Five or six inch, whatever you guys like. If you want a bigger bow, it's gonna be a six inch, smaller five inch. You measure and you pinch it in the middle and hold it with your thumb. And go ahead, do that with each and every one. Most important is that each loop is even. That's why I'm measuring. Every single one loop has to be even. The tails could be longer and shorter. And please note that I already cut the fishtails at the end of each ribbon.
All right, so we have a six loop bow right there. All we have to do is now tie it with the floral wire. Tie it very nicely and tightly. And all that's left to do is just fluff, fluff, fluff. And then you can play with the tails. As you can see, I'm curling them up a little bit. You can bend them, you can curl them, wherever you like. Okay, and now we can attach the bow to the reef. Just use the remaining wire to do that. All right, now you can fluff up that bow a little bit more. <laughs> and now the fun part of arranging the flowers. And you know how I usually do it? I just put them where I think they'll fit nice and I don't glue them right away. I just want to see how it looks first. And uh, once I like everything, then I'll glue it. And as you can see, I like to put the drooping flowers for the tips uh, on both sides. And the bigger flowers, I insert them around the bow. Okay, I think it's going to look beautiful that way. And whenever you arrange your flowers, just take a picture just in case if you forget where everything was. All right, so I took everything off and I'm about to start gluing. Uh, but I just remembered that I need to create a little hanger in the back. So I just cut a small piece of ribbon and I'm just going to hot glue it there. Pinning it down with a thumbtack might be a good idea instead of burning your finger. <laughs> With a bigger reef like this, I find it easier to have the reef hanging on the door while I insert the flowers. I'm putting them in pretty much the same way as I prearranged them before. I'm looking at this reef and I think it's too much red. 
Uh, luckily, I have some daisies left over from the last lemon decor, and I'm just adding a couple here and there. Next, I cut down the stake and also bend it a little bit so I could sit that lady on the reef. <laughs> She is such a cutie. I don't know where to put her. I think I'm just going to put her right there so she's more visible. <laughs> and I'm going to secure her with some hot glue too so she stays on better. What do you think? I think she is such a cutie. She is like my cherry on the top, right? <laughs> And guys, the more I look at the reef, the more I want to just keep adding. Uh, I want to make it more dramatic with the grass sticking all around. Uh, again, this is a personal preference, depending what you guys like. Uh, just, you know, just have fun with it. Okay, what do you think? I think I like it like this. Um, what the heck, I'm just having so much fun with this reef. Uh, and this cutie is just, oh my gosh, what an adorable lady. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. I'm just looking at it one more time. I'm thinking maybe I need some more white flowers over here. Um, let me see. I have these white spikes. Since I had the red spikes and now the white ones, I added a little bit there and a little bit at the bottom. And I think it gives it a good balance. What do you guys think? I think that was the missing piece. Now I like it. Yes, I really like it. Well, I found one more ladybug. That fan was unnecessary, so I took the ladybug apart. And she's so cute. I'm just putting a little bit flower stem inside her belly to hold her over. And I'm just going to insert her right there under the flower. What do you think? I think she is the cherry on the top. Can there be two cherries? <laughs> I am so happy with this reef, how it came out. I mean, it's a pool noodle. <laughs> and all these cute ladybugs is just perfect summer reef for me. I'm going to have it out for the whole season. And I'm just wondering, what do you guys think? Do you like it? Are any of you ladybug lovers out there? Please let me know. Just uh, find some of those uh, ladybug emojis and comment down below. Can't wait to hear from you guys. All right, guys, this is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you hit like and subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you're going to be notified when I upload a new video. So thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye!